Hey, what to pack first when moving? That's what we're talking about today, so don't go anywhere. Hi, welcome back. But if this is your first time here, my name is Jacqueline Krasuski. I'm a real estate salesperson with the Green Team New York Realty in beautiful Warwick, New York. And if you haven't already, I would so appreciate if you'd hit that subscribe button below and give me a thumbs up. So today we're talking about where to start packing when you're ready to move. And by the end of this video, you're going to know exactly where to start and how to tackle it. If you haven't watched the video prior packing to move, Link should be around here somewhere. Click on that and watch that first. There's some key steps you need to take before you even pack a box. Okay, let's get that plan in place. First, you want to pack storage areas like garages, basements, attics, sheds. And the reason why we want to tackle those areas first is a lot of times we end up storing stuff we don't even know we have. And then we go to move and we're like, <gasps> Oh my God, where did all this stuff come from? So these areas take the longest and they're also the least used. And hopefully if you store the stuff right, maybe it's already packed. I don't know. Um, but if you know what I'm talking about, type the word stuff down below in the comment section right now. Those are the areas you want to start with. And another key to starting with those, besides them taking the longest, so you don't want to leave them till the last minute, is if you're lucky enough to have a garage and you can get that all packed up, you now have a storage place for all your boxes to live that you are packing so you're not tripping over them every day and killing yourself. I mean, think of your sanity. Another place to start is if you have spare bedrooms that are hardly being used, you could pack those rooms up. That would be my next place. The other place to start is anything you have duplicate of. Like, do you have four sets of dishes? Listen, no shame, because I love, I love dishes but we don't need four sets out at all times. So you wanna pack up anything you have duplicate or even triplicate of. Live with the bare basics. Pack up all your outdoor furniture, all your pots and urns. People forget all that stuff and at the last minute, they're like throwing it into the moving van. So pack up all that stuff. Pack up any out of season clothing, sporting goods, any of that stuff. Pack it up and move it on out. Those are your main areas. So once you've done this, you want to look, go through your house and then start with your decor items. You want to start with artwork, collectibles, photo albums, books, things of that. But make sure you go back to my other video and check how to pack them because you want to make sure you color code everything so you know what room it's going to live in when you do move to your new house. Okay, so first tip is start with storage areas. Get those all taken care of because they take the longest. Then areas least used if you're lucky to have a guest bedroom or an area like that. And then you want to pack up all your duplicates. So now you should be living with the bare minimum, right? There's four people, you got four plates, four forks, and four knives, right? You're living with the bare minimum at this point. And you're thinking, my move is like a week or two away. Now what? Now you want to take a suitcase for each family member and pack for at least three days. You didn't, un you didn't pack in a day, you're not unpacking in a day. So pack clothes, toiletries, medications. Make sure you include a towel for each person. You, you might wanna shower after three days to kinda get a little stinky. Um, you wanna have sheets, pillows, and blankets. Just one set of each that you have in a separate location. So when you move, trust me, you are going to need sleep. So you want to make sure when you're in your new house, you can throw sheets on the bed once your bed gets there and you have a change of clothes for a few days and you're not wondering which box did I pack my underwear in. And listen, if you have furry friends, don't forget about them. You know what? I would put their stuff right in your car so they're prepared. And listen, if you're moving with young kids, you want a separate little bag that maybe has some of their toys, if they have electronics, whatever the case. So when you're going in and out, you can kind of set them up and let them play. Now that you're getting ready to pack everything up because you're gonna be moving in a few days or a week, hopefully more like a week or two, some tips. Roll, do not fold. Did you hear me? Roll, do not fold. You can fit so much more in suitcases and boxes if you roll all your clothes and soft items. And listen, use some of your items to pack. If you're packing up your kitchen, your glasses, 
Use your dish towels to pack them. They're all living in the same spot and you're packing two items for one. Leave all your clothes on the hangers. Do not take them off. Rubber band them together. Put a garbage bag over them. If you're hiring a moving company, a lot of times they have the racks where you can just hang them or you can fold them in a suitcase. You can also buy a garment um, box, but leave them on the hangers, make life easy. Remember not to overpack, especially heavy items. Like if you have a bookcase, do not take every single book out and put it in one box. I mean, that's spelling chiropractor. Serious back issues. Uh, and really a great spot for books is if you have a ro an extra rolling suitcase, Pack them in that, especially if you're the one doing the moving. Oh, and one more tip. This is really important. Well, maybe it's only really important to me, but um, I think it's probably important to a lot of people. Make sure your coffee maker goes in your car with your coffee and anything you need for it. So when you get to the new house, maybe you get there in the afternoon and you're like, I don't drink coffee, but man, that next morning it's set up and ready to go and you can tackle the day. Because again, you didn't pack in one day, you're not unpacking in one day. And I don't know about you, but I probably need about four or five cups of these to get through a packing session. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and leave me a comment below and let me know what uh, packing tips that you have that you can share. Again, thank you so much. If you want, you can also follow me on Instagram. I'll put the link around here somewhere. Thank you, and I hope you have an amazing day. And happy packing.